we know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. I'm Anna, co-founder here at the Sisters Enchanted, and as usual, I'm joined by Sarah Milne, one of our teachers and program director and teammates here at the Sisters Enchanted, and hello. Hi, hello. Hey, so we're here for another astro forecast, and Sarah, why don't you tell us what we have going on in the sky this week and our three tips to to move through it. Okay, so we have Venus, the planet of desire, including love, also the planet of beauty and just the things we desire, really. And that that's why we associate Venus so much with the, with love because that's one of the biggest things that we desire. But also beauty, as I said, and peace and you know, those kind of things. She's that fan, the Venus is the, the planet of Venus is currently square with Uranus so that means they're kind of like squaring up with each other having a bit of a like you know that sort of boxing ring type energy interestingly Uranus is in Taurus which is Venus's sign so it's kind of interesting so we've got this and Uranus is the planet of rebellion and the planet of change and sudden change and of course Aquarius also likes to be rebellious and change and bring about change for the good of of everybody so we've got a little bit of a kind of like to have some interesting developments in love in relationships this week a little bit of un- of um a little bit of uncertainty going on there so these are my three tips for the week it's time to consider are your relationships actually healthy are your relationships aligned with your goals with your intentions and with your authenticity if not, maybe this is time for change because change could be good as well. And by that, by relationships, I don't just mean your love relationships, like all your relationships. So is it time for change? Number two, this square can bring some frustrations to the surface in rela- your relationships and, again, all your relationships. So try and avoid expressing this through anger. Be careful of angry outbursts. So instead, maybe if you get frustrated with someone during this time, just maybe suggest that you do something different. Maybe you sort of channel that change and that rebellion into doing things differently. So if you're kind of frustrated because things aren't working out or things are getting boring, whatever, just like, why don't we just try this? That would be good. And thinking things in a different way with that Aquarius energy. And number three, think before you speak or act. Because remember, Mercury is still foggy. <laughs> so you've got Mercury's already, because we sort of like have these one by one, but this thing's still happening from the previous week. So just make sure that you think before you speak or you act. Don't make any sudden changes in your relationships this week that you might then regret. Ah, such good things. I mean, not good things, but such good words of wisdom for this energy. Um, For your card pulls and your message for this week, I got the Knight of Cups Mm. and the Emperor. So... For wow, this, that's interesting. Right? Knight of Cups is going to struggle with this energy. <laughs> know, the Knight of Cups is the type to kind of like make a rash choice yeah. to to um to stir the pot, to mm. follow the heart without thinking, um, which is sometimes great. But I really mm. love that um, that in this time you do have the Emperor there as well. That maybe because um, you said it's a it's not a great time to make. Um, rash decisions about mm. our relationship. Yeah. Um, but it might be a good time to really put focus on how to have fun mm-hmm. in a relationship during times when it can be a little bit dicey. Like a Knight of Cups would totally show up outside your window with a boom box and play some power ballads because oh. they're, they're like that. But like, mm. how can you do that in your own life mm-hmm. um, while still trying to hold control over the situation? Not too much control because the emperor knows how to like look over things in a way that are nurturing, but also structured. Mm -hmm. How can you do this and harness that Knight of Cups energy to find some fun 
Um, and to maybe pad out what what could otherwise be a chaotic time mm-hmm. in relationships. How can you kind of laugh off the stuff that that might be coming up at this time? Um, because maybe leaning into some laughter or some or some fun in a way that is structured and planned might be just the right outlet you need in this time to not make rash decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, like we're going to have this outing on this date and we're going to go throw axes at things. You know, those bars where you can throw like axes at things. Oh, yeah. because that might be a really fun way to yeah. get out some frustration mm. um, with somebody that you care about in a structured environment where mm. things don't, you know, collide yeah. and turn into like a tower moment that we're not wanting to have. So mm. this is your message this week. Have some structured fun. Make mm. some plans to go do some things um, so that you don't let the chaos ensue and that you don't make any hasty choices because you have planned yes. for some fun, some healthy yeah. fun. I love it. There it is. I love it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, you know, Venus, good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, go after what you want, but make sure that you're doing it in a way that's really, you know, supportive and productive yeah. and yeah, not absolutely. and not destructive. So, yes. yes. Any last words, Sarah? I think it's really cool. I love the cards really fitted in as they do every week. The cards working together super it's well. It's weird together. how that happens. It's almost like yeah, they're just messages bigger than we are. They really are. So I love it. So yes. <laughs> Consider are your relationships healthy? Are they aligned to your goals or your intentions? If not, you know, make a change. It doesn't mean say end it, just make a change. Um, it, that can be like bringing more fun in, as co- of course, and like, yeah, make that make that chain make, make that chain make find that fun. I love it. I love it. I will say real quick too with the the Knight of Cups and the Emperor to your first point, and I'll make this brief. Um, is to make sure that your relationships are healthy. Sometimes when we're mm. in a Knight of Cups position, we are clouded and we can't see relationships for what they really are. And so the support of the Emperor here at this time mm. really could help put a magnifying glass over your emotions to make sure that you're yeah. not wearing rose-colored glasses and say like, hey, am I seeing this for what it really is supposed to be? So I actually really yeah. like these cards together because it still lends to leading with your heart and having some yeah. fun and feeling what you feel, but also being able to take a step back and be like, is this reality? Yeah. Am I living in reality right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that. Because the, the, the emperor to me as well kind of feeds into that Aquarius energy that Venus is in right now as well. That kind of like that. It feels like that kind of like that nurturing energy that is very much kind of like, I don't think that this is good enough for you. I don't think that this is right for you. I don't think, you know, it is that kind of like, so how can you then change your ideas and your perceptions and your thoughts so maybe your expectations about what this relationship should be like and all these kind of things it's really like I could just I love that emperor card just it almost feels like you've got that kind of you know the knight of cups there serenading under your window and then the 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 emperor there saying yeah but this is think think is this right for you it's too late to play that song on volume 10 you know like your your past the sound ordinance Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Um, Which is kind of like Aquarius energy. That it, those two cards together in this, sure. in this in this week just like sound like Venus in Aquarius kind of energy. Like that's too loud. No, it's not. This is the way things are now. Okay, we're changing the structure. Move on. <laughs> I love it. So yeah. good. So good. Yeah. Um, I. Was gonna, oh, I was going to say, obviously, always, you know where to mm-hmm. find our astrology program at expeditionastrology.com, but you're getting lots of fun tarot influences here in these mm-hmm. podcasts, and we're reading cards very intuitively and sometimes outside the box. And in case you didn't know, we also have a program, program called Tarot Throwdown, mm-hmm. um, and it's a great program to learn how to read intuitively follow your gut when it comes to reading and learn the cards without pressure. So I'm in that class too. I help teach that class. So if you are loving tarot and wanting to learn more about how to read cards yourself, you could also check out our tarot throwdown program. Um, It's so good. Mm. So Sarah, thanks so much for being here again. Such good stuff. Um, And we'll see you all next time on another astrology podcast of the expedition to soul podcast. And thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.